Hey everyone, this is Chuck at ThatRhythmMan.com and this is going to be my first attempt at a uh, kind of a tech related video. So what I wanted to show is something that I've told a few people about and that is how to set up a neck humbucker the way that Arbellis did. And so to start out with, um, I'm going to show you what Herb's guitar actually looks like. This is something that I learned from studying his actual ES-175 as well as watching some instructional videos that he did. So first we can take a look. As you can see um, in the picture that I should be showing now that the high E string, the screw for that pole is set very very high. In fact it's set almost so high that once you hit that your highest fret it's just got enough clearance for the string to ring and then everything else is set based on that so that some of the poles actually end up below the pickup cover some of them um, some of them end up a little above and they may end up even it's all going to vary depending on the string that you use and your individual pickup and exactly what the pickup is herb's guitar has a I believe it's a 60s patent number pickup in it. Don't know exactly what year it's from, but that's how he ended up with his particular thing. He also uses domestic infilled um, jazz swing. That's the flat wound round core strings made by domestic. And um, so what we're gonna do is go from here and set up a 1978 L5 that has all of its poles still basically set flat. Okay, here's the L5 in question. So, this is something I would usually do on my workbench, but for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to do it in my lap, which works really well too. In fact, I guess I've done that on a number of my guitars exactly that way. So, our first step, of course, is to raise this high E screw very high. Now, first question is, did I go too high? A little too high. We're still ringing just fine, but it's very close. Bring that one down a little. I'm going to drop it to just a tiny bit more. Now everything else from that standpoint is set basically at the volume that you get out of the string. And I usually play it somewhere fretted in the middle. actually slightly louder. So we're going to move that pole away from the strings. Still just a little louder. So this process can take a little while, but basically you just do the same thing on all of the strings. We're pretty happy with that. So, and of course it changes once you start getting the wound strings. The G string, actually just like Herb's guitar, needs the pole set a little bit higher. And that's pretty 
close, so we'll go with that. The D string is much quieter. These are actually using the same string set. string is very loud comparatively so I'm going to drop it and the E strings are almost always loud comparatively so I'm going to go ahead and drop that one down some before we even get to those. kind of see there that we ended up with kind of an unusual look to the poles compared to what you may be used to seeing in most guitars but you end up with a really even tone that works really well with jazz style stuff that sounds a lot like what Herb might have done. And so I hope you found that maybe interesting. The guitar, by the way, is a 1978 L5 um, CESN. It's a, it's a really great guitar. I almost kept this one for myself, but I decided um, after I got the Super 400 that's sitting in the background there, which was perfect for what I needed, that I would go ahead and put this one on the market. It's really a fantastic guitar. It has had one thing that might scare some people, the tip of the truss rod, which you can't see here because the cover is on, was snapped off, which happens actually more than you might realize in Gibson guitars. It was, the wood was routed around it, professionally re-threaded so that it works perfectly. The truss rod is dead on and um, I wouldn't have a hesitation in keeping this guitar for that reason, it's got everything that you could want. Real quickly, as long as we have it here. Um, and I only showed that pick up, you know. These obviously have a little more versatility because they have a fully functioning 
bridge pickup as well, so. <laughs> And um, if, you're, if you're interested in this L5, come visit us at thatrhythmman.com and take a look. Thanks. <laughs>